Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkle. She will be back later today, but we're going to talk about an update to Rooster Teeth to Ruby. This is kind of a big announcement and it shouldn't surprise anyone who's been paying attention. We've been covering it on the channel now for a couple of years. The decline, the rapid decline and uh, appears to be a possible dismemberment of Rooster Teeth. Uh, Rooster Teeth has just announced that Ruby will be premiering season nine on Crunchyroll. On Crunchyroll, right? So it sounds like Rooster Teeth isn't nearly as important as they used to be, again, to Warner Brothers, uh, to David Zaslav, who has come in and just, you know, chopped and chopped and chopped at this company, laid off all kinds of, all kinds of people, shut down all kinds of divisions, and they seem to be consolidating animation and uh yeah i didn't think rooster teeth was going to be immune in fact i'm surprised rooster teeth has lasted as long as it has because it's really not an important part of warner brothers it never was that they basically got rooster teeth by accident they bought full screen they bought otter media which bought full screen i guess and they got rooster teeth by accident and i don't think they know what to do with it so they've been trying to take ruby characters put them in dc comics uh they've been trying to whore out uh, Rooster Teeth animation, doing uh, Transformers for Netflix, and and uh, of course you know they did uh, uh, Genlock, and there's been all kinds of drama about Rooster Teeth. You know people getting laid off, scandals with groupies. Um, it just goes on and on and on. And there's hardly anybody left of this company that it was there from the beginning. A lot of the founders of Rooster Teeth noped out a long time ago, and it really is just a shell of its former self. And this is what happens when you sell out to a corporation, right? They just kind of dismantle you piece by piece until there's absolutely nothing left. And the only thing of value that they have currently is the Ruby IP, which is not nearly as valuable as it used to be for a variety of reasons. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, finally, over 290,000. Thank you so much for the support. Hit the subscribe button. Like us. Please like us. Uh, like us so we can continue to grow the channel. Sailing toward 300,000 subs. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but your support has been absolutely amazing. And, and for those of you who have been with us for a couple of years, you know that we've been covering the decline, the demise of Rooster Teeth. In fact, we had some people who were working at Rooster Teeth come to us and uh, tell us that things were really bad with crunch time and things were really bad with the morale of the company. And people said we're lying and then it turned out we're telling the truth. And likewise with Crunchyroll, we said, look, the long-term plan for Crunchyroll is to uh, sell it off or roll it into HBO Max or something, but it's not going to be the same company that it was. And it turns out that Crunchyroll got bought by Funimation, but Funimation decided to use the Crunchyroll name. And again, lots of people got laid off. People said we're crazy. Here we are. So this is end stage Rooster Teeth, right? Uh, Ruby is returning, but not where you expect coming from the Austin Chronicle. And I think Hirohe was one of the first ones to, to uh, break it. And we'll go out to his, his tweets after this, though. Austin Chronicle. Uh, Rooster Teeth is returning, but on Crunchyroll. The Austin-made American anime jumps to Crunchyroll. Normally, it's good news, bad news that comes as a pairing. The latest word about Ruby, the anime-influenced cult success from Rooster Teeth, is more good news, odd news. Uh, no, I think it's bad news. I think it's bad news for Rooster Teeth. The good news is the long-awaited Volume 9 heads to screens on February 18th. The weird part, it won't be on Rooster Teeth first. The streamer's own platform, instead it will be available via Crunchyroll as a one-year exclusive. That's a dramatic shift. The series began by being hosted at roosterteeth.com, and since Volume 5 new episodes have premiered on Rooster Teeth first, the company's subscription service, however, under a new deal, Volume 9 will not be available on first until 2024. I don't think they're going to be around that long. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But the way things are going, the way that David Zaslav is shutting stuff down, I don't think they're going to be around that long. Launched in 2013, Ruby follows a team of four young women charged with protecting a fantastical realm from mounting menaces uh, like cancel culture. Over the last eight seasons, it has become Rooster Teeth's flagship property, about the only thing they have that's worth any money at this point. Launching several spinoffs, including Ruby Chibi and Ruby Fairy Tales, novels, comics, a merchandise line, video and tabletop games, and even a Japanese remake. This is incredibly important. The Japanese remake, because a lot of people are saying that it's better than actual Ruby. I haven't watched it yet. 
but people say it's better than actual Ruby. And what that tells me is that Warner Brothers is going to look at this and be like, we can still make Ruby. We just outsource it. We don't need Rooster Teeth. We can just outsource it and make make proper anime out of it. We, we don't need Rooster Teeth anymore. Uh, it's also become a valuable part of parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery's intellectual property portfolio. No, I don't think it is. They tried to make it work in comics, and I don't think it worked very well in comics. Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll have an ongoing relationship, both were formerly part of Otter Media, which was acquired by Warner Media, even though Crunchyroll was sold to Sony Pictures in 2021. Last year, it shared the premiere of Ruby Ice Queendom with First. In a tweet announcing the change via the official Rooster Teeth account, it was explained that as the audience grows, we need the optimal platform to help continue that growth as Crunchyroll is the best home to take Ruby to the next level. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Crunchyroll, people are watching Crunchyroll. People are not happy with Rooster Teeth first anyway, right? Um, Ruby has been a driver for paid first subscriptions. And it's hard to imagine that this deal will not impact the subscriber base. Uh, there's also the bigger question of the future of Rooster Teeth as a wholly owned subsidiary of the newly merged Warner Brothers Discovery, which has been an, on a cost cutting rampage and radical restructuring. If only somebody could have predicted, could have predicted this. If only somebody could have, have predicted that, uh, you know, Rooster Teeth was not long for this world. Um, However, this can't overshadow that fans finally get the new season. Finally. Well, yeah, there's a lot of concerns here. People are talking about boycotting and uh, uh, pirating season nine because of the way this is done. So Hero Hey put this tweet out a couple days ago, and he's actually got some anecdotal evidence here. I think it's kind of kind of funny. Uh, exclusively on Crunchyroll. Yar horror pirates life for me. But to be honest, I don't know if I even want to watch it. Uh, this one. Rooster Teeth is getting shut down soon, isn't it? Aside from everything else that's happened, this move to Crunchyroll more or less means that people who sub the first don't need it anymore to watch Ruby as soon as it drops, which in turn will probably lead to a lot of cancellations and by extension, lots of lost revenue, unless they add a Crunchyroll subscription to it. Plus, this move is going to redirect a lot of traffic away from the Rooster Teeth site, which means not as many people to watch the non-Ruby content. But at least we got a release date. Yeah, um, I think it does mean that that Rooster Teeth as a separate entity it doesn't matter anymore. Um, exclusively on Crunchyroll, like not even available for a free week uh, or for a week free, like later pass volumes. Big yikes. Only behind a premium paywall now. Paywall that isn't even the paywall to the company that makes the show. It's all Warner Brothers. It's all Warner Brothers. Um, that's the thing. Uh, this guy here, B stands, B stands. If you ever wonder how bad things can get, just know you'll never be Rooster Teeth begging people not to pirate Ruby because they made it an exclusive on Crunchyroll bad. This might be the most important thing you read today. So this is coming from Rooster Teeth. We realize many of you will assume that the, it's now okay to pirate the show because it's on a big media platform and the IP is owned by a big media conglomerate. Let me be clear. Please don't pirate the show. Pirating Ruby hurts us in so many ways and has a direct impact on the content in Kruby. I cannot stress this enough. Ruby lives and dies by how it's monetized by you, our fans. This is Zazlav. Zazlav is going to look at this and they're going to be like, oh yeah, hey, look. Yeah, everybody canceled their Rooster Teeth First subscriptions. Uh, they're watching it on Crunchyroll. Why do we need Rooster Teeth First? Many folks assume that given that Rooster Teeth is a wholly owned Warner Brothers uh, subsidiary that we have an endless pool of cash lying around. You could not be further from the truth. While we are indeed owned by Warner Brothers and love being part of the family, we typically tend to run Rooster Teeth as an independent business within a larger framework of the organization. Contrary to popular belief, we do not receive an annual bucket of money to fund the show. Um, it's over, guys. I think it's over. So, yeah, my honest opinion, if Rooster Teeth really is going to give Ruby a new exclusive streaming home, it should be on HBO Max. Previous volumes are already on Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll, but Ruby is technically Warner Brothers property. That's, uh, you know, but they're looking out like, oh, it's anime. All anime goes on Crunchyroll. Um, you know, so I, this is not a good sign. I'm just telling you right now, this is not a good sign uh, for Ruby. I think that we're getting toward the, uh, the actual end of 
rooster teeth and it has been a long, slow, prolonged, <laughs> prolonged, awful death. And I think that uh, Warner Brothers is going to take him out back and shoot him pretty soon. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later.